a lot of reports going around right now that the reason why he's not wrestling, or at least as regularly as he was before, why he's being put in tag team matches, whatever, is because his health is not doing well. And he was also, he was on Raw last night, but in a backstage segment. So, two questions for you. One, what are your thoughts on the reports of his health not being at 100%? And two, do you like the fact they're kind of making him more SmackDown exclusive? I think... I think it's I think it's pretty well that he kind of came back a little early. He kind of said that he didn't, but I think he did. I think they kind of really needed him, so he came back a little early. And with those injuries, with the neck injuries and the shoulders, those are pretty reoccurring when you're hitting the mat a lot. So I wouldn't be too shocked if they said these injuries are still not developed or it's not healed correctly and stuff like that. But I like how he is more SmackDown exclusively. I think I think that could be a show that him and Wyatt could build up and. Like they said, they have Ambrose and Ziggler featured on there a lot. So I think that's good for them. Kind of like a second brand. Like, they did that with SmackDown a lot back when they had the brands. But, like, the Rey Mysterios and Orton and Batista and Undertaker is kind of like their own show. I like how they're doing that with Brian and Wyatt. Because we don't really see Wyatt on Raw a lot either. So I think it's good for them. Kind of deteriorates them a little bit because not that many people watch SmackDown. But I think it's good for them to kind of, like, build the show up themselves. But if his health's not there, then they kind of have to blemish like kind of like patch up him and make him in tag team match so he's not out there all the time but i think if he has to tone it down then he has to tone it down i think an argument can be made for the smackdown exclusive thing anyway you know people will say you know smackdown doesn't mean anything because there's no superstars that are exclusive to that show that i can't already see on monday other people will say the reason that no one watches this show is because there's no superstars on SmackDown or because they're not exclusive to SmackDown because no one watches the show. You know what I mean? It can go back and forth. But I do feel like, like you said, SmackDown does not have a large audience, but people still watch SmackDown. Not a lot of people, but there is that small niche audience that still watches on Thursday nights. And um, they can make the show mean more. I don't know if it's going to bring up the ratings. Um, I, don't, I doubt it. But I know they're going to back to USA Network or SmackDown is moving to USA Network for the first time ever come early 2016 uh, but regardless of they want to make the blue brand mean more they got to add these guys on SmackDown still have them appear on Raw because I feel like you can't fill three hours of Raw by having people pull double triple duty every single week <clears throat> the Rollins the Reigns the Ortons the the Rybacks you know um, so hopefully they can build off that in, in, in coming weeks and, and in terms of the health reports um, like I said I'm waiting until we get more evidence of this I mean I would not be surprised if he did not come back if he did come back not a hundred percent considering the fact that you know like you said RJ he did not you know they, they probably brought him back because they needed him going into Wrestlemania season and it wasn't even all that necessary if they kept him out until the night after Wrestlemania or whatever would not have drastically affected the Wrestlemania card considering the fact that he was in the IC title match anyway he made the match but the match would have been fine without him as well. But, Jake, I'm going to get your thoughts on all this, the, the reports of Daniel Bryan being severely injured right now, as well as the fact of him, of him being exclusive to the SmackDown brand. Well, first off, I feel like him being injured, I totally believable. He's still taking the same moves to the neck that he was taking before, which I always found not to be the smartest decision. Plus, it seems like he's been landing on his neck quite a bit since he came back. So, I mean, that probably wouldn't help his cause at all. And then about him on SmackDown more, I feel like that could legitimize the brand more of the Yes movement because there's a lot of people who want to chant Yes. So maybe making him exclusively SmackDown might make people tune in more because once they realize, oh, Daniel Bryan's not on SmackDown, they might, I mean, not on Raw, they might start to tune in more. I mean, like he said, I mean, if you put more of, like, some of the, more over mid card guys like Ziggler, or, uh, let's see, um, yeah, like people like Ziggler, and you could maybe put them on SmackDown exclusive to make that like a mid card development talent show, kind of like, kind of like an NXT, but like for people who are more ready to be on national television instead of just the WWE network. No, I absolutely agree. I feel like that's what SmackDown was all about. I don't know how many years ago, 10, not 15, but maybe around 10 years ago, during the days where like the tag team division was at its hottest and they were building up new stars over on SmackDown. And they can continue to do that with the Intercontinental Championship. They've done that in recent weeks. But uh, they still need to appear on Raw, but if you can focus that show around the mid-card titles with the U.S. Open Challenge, 
and Daniel Bryan in the main event, Barrett and Ambrose and Ziggler, all those guys going at it. Um, could make for a very meaningful show, or at least mean more than what it is right now.